When it comes to insects, they're generally nothing that a big old can of bug spray can't fix. Then there's this bug, whose sheer size and ferocious pincers mean it attacks and kills its prey much bigger than itself. Want to meet the bug that takes down snakes on the regular? Let's go! Found in freshwater waterways all over the world is a family of predatorial insects known as giant water bugs. That's not their only name either. Depending on where you're from, they're also called toe biters, alligator ticks, electric light bugs, and Indian toe biters. Don't these guys sound charming already? Giant water bugs can grow to lengths of up to four and a half inches, but it's their oversized frontal appendages that give them their intimidating look. Despite being found almost always at the bottom of ponds, streams, or lakes, the giant water bug actually can't breathe underwater. Instead of lungs, they use a specialized breathing tube that extends from their rear abdomen when the giant water bug rises to the surface. Yep, that's right. The giant water bug breathes through its very own butt snorkel. That's not to say the giant water bug can't hold its breath. They spend most of their days sitting silently at the bottom of a freshwater stream, waiting for an unsuspecting victim to swim overhead. Once the giant water bug senses movement in the water above, they strike, latching on to whatever creature was unlucky enough to swim past. Their prey normally consists of small fish, snails, amphibians, and crustaceans. But it's not uncommon to see giant water bugs dueling with snakes in a horrifying underwater death roll. Normally, my money would be on the snake, but these bugs are a whole different story. Using their powerful pincer-like appendages, giant water bugs clamp down on passing prey before using their long proboscis to inject a toxic, paralytic saliva into its flesh. Their saliva is a sinister cocktail of neurotoxins, which not only render the victim completely immobile, but also begin to liquefy the internal organs ready for digestion. I mean, they're not all bad. Males are actually the role model dad in the insect world, carrying around a full batch of eggs on his back while mom has some me time. So I know what you're thinking. Do they hurt humans? And if you haven't guessed by the name toe biters, the answer is yes. Yes, they do. They don't go for the fleshy part of your toes either. Giant water bugs will aim straight for the webbing between your toes and clamp down. It's like getting an underwater paper cut that burns like hell. While most people report a mild stinging and burning sensation, certain species have been known to both deliver a powerful local anesthetic and cause severe shooting pain from the sight of the bite. We make them sound terrifying, and they might not be your local frog or water snake, but pick one up and more often than not, they'll freeze up and play dead. Yep, the king of the insects is a big scaredy cat. The great diving beetle is one of over 4,000 different species of aquatic beetles living in and around the waterways of the world. Over the past 40 million odd years, these beetles have developed one of the most specialized hunting mechanisms in the world. They start their lives as tiny transparent larvae called water tigers. They undulate in the water and wave their tiny pincers at anything that approaches. And just like giant water bugs, baby diving beetles use a butt snorkel to breathe. But don't be fooled by how adorable they look. These cute baby beetles gorge themselves on frog eggs and tadpoles from the moment they're born. Once they've eaten enough to get them through the next stage of their life, baby water tigers climb out of the water and find a nice mud hole to bury themselves in while they undergo metamorphosis into adults. Fast forward a few weeks and the adult great diving beetle emerges in all its glory and heads for the water. It's dinner time. And this diving beetle is hungry. A lot has happened since the metamorphosis. The great diving beetle now has a pair of feathered appendages that act as underwater fins for swimming. And the infamous butt snorkel has been replaced by something even more badass. Using special membranes, the great diving beetle traps a bubble of air under its wings to use as a makeshift scuba tank. The beetle can then dive underwater for up to 30 minutes to hunt for food. Feasting on a diet of fish, tadpoles, and insect carrion, 
The great diving beetle grabs prey with its front appendages before injecting a digestive enzyme. It makes quick work of any meal, razor-sharp mandibles slicing flesh like butter. Once a waterway is fresh out of food, the great diving beetle can pack up its tank, climb out of the water, and fly to a new pond. But the great diving beetle isn't the only creepy crawly that doesn't belong in the water. The fishing spider is a creature truly as horrifying as it sounds. This aquatic arachnid not only hunts, kills, and devours fish, but it's also evolved to survive underwater. Just when you thought there was one surefire place spiders can't follow you, and we meet the fishing spider. It sits on the water surface, anchored onto floating leaves by its back two legs. The other six legs probe the water while ultra-fine hairs detect any movement both above and below the water surface. Once it senses a fishy meal below, the fishing spider snaps into action like Alien's face hugger. But if that particular tactic doesn't work, the fishing spider has another trick up his sleeve. Specialized lungs and air bubbles that stick to the hair on its abdomen means the fishing spider can dive underwater and breathe comfortably for up to an hour while hunting. After a successful hunt, the fishing spider injects both a paralytic agent and a digestive enzyme into the unfortunate fish before dragging it out of the water to eat. Sometimes, though, fish aren't the only thing on the menu. African fishing spiders have been known to occasionally feast on small frogs, too. And while they're not the only arachnid known to frequent the shallows, there's one bug that's hijacked the name of one. The water scorpion isn't actually a scorpion at all. It's actually part of the bug family. And while it does have a rather long needle-like tail, it doesn't use it to sting. It's another butt snorkel. And the water scorpion uses it to breathe air while swimming. But it's the front end of a water scorpion that's the dangerous part. Lying in wait, a water scorpion will sit with legs outstretched, feeling for minute changes in water currents. As insects, small fish, and amphibians swim past, their powerful prehensiles snap shut and trap them. Like with most underwater sociopaths, the water scorpion starts his meal by injecting a powerful enzyme which begins to liquefy the prey from the inside out. But just when you thought the water couldn't get any worse, there is one last underwater spider that will have you swear off swimming for life. While the fishing spider can take underwater dips for an hour at a time, the water spider, or diving bell spider, is the only known species of spider on the planet to live exclusively underwater. It's developed one of the coolest breathing solutions of all time. After finding a safe place and lining it with silk, the diving bell spider swims to the surface and sticks its rear out into the air. Special hairs trap a large air bubble, which is then transported down to an ever-increasing underwater scuba reservoir. The diving bell spider repeats the process several times until there's enough on-demand oxygen for the coming day. Then, when it's time to hunt, the water spider takes a mini bubble of air with them in reserve before scouring the shallows for prey. They aren't picky eaters either. Water spiders will attack and paralyze anything they can get their hands on. Then it's back to their air bubble oasis to finish off their meal in oxygen-rich luxury. And so, while none of these water bugs are a serious threat to humans, it's just a reminder that everything in nature is absolutely horrifying. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that big red button right now. See you next time.